Hi, I'm Diana, one of the doctors here at Vitalab, and today we're going to have a short discussion around polycystic ovarian syndrome, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about in the past. So it's um, a bit of a, a tricky one because um, it's often a condition that can be misdiagnosed because there are many conditions that present in a similar way. Um, and on the other side, it can be overdiagnosed. So it's something that we, we see and um, uh, after chatting to patients, we obviously sometimes um, suggest that that's the, the diagnosis without it having the full, meeting the full criteria necessarily. So we'll talk a little bit about how we make the diagnosis. The difficulty is that there is no one blood test or one clinical sign that says to us, this is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So there are a few things that we have to look at in order to, uh, to, to get to that diagnosis.